Oh, uh, hello, meow. Oh, meow. And welcome back to the channel. I'm Shift. And I'm Electro. And we are Shift Draw Art. Oh. And we hope you guys enjoy today's video. And don't forget to like it, Susan. And let us know what you think. I heard there's a comment section. And with that, let today's video begin. Good evening, good day, and good morrow. And welcome to our first episode of our brand new elf series that we are doing. That Shift came up with, so he's going to explain this one. Hey, okay, so as you know, I'm bored with all human stuff and human superheroes because I think have an imagination, stop being so boring. Mm -hmm. So I want fantasy aspects. I want big ears that are like really cool, horns, magical hair, multiple limbs, everything like that. Yeah, so the first idea you came up with was the woodland elf. Yes, because I got into researching, not actually playing, Dungeons and Dragons because they have apparently so many different um, creatures, creatures, species, and stuff like everything. That. Yeah. So we started with all the elves from the series. Mm -hmm. We were going to move on to the Dragonborn. Dragonborn, that's the one. Yeah. Afterwards, because they're awesome. Mm -hmm. But for now, we're doing all the elves because apparently there's like. Um, Elf slash woodland slash all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can like literally draw like 20 different species of elves. Yeah, so what we did to start off with is we got a list and then we wrote down like everywhere an elf could be. So we've got like sky elves, cosmic elf, like cave elf, crystal elf. elf, yes, ice elf, everything we could possibly think of. And then we're gonna draw an elf based on whatever that keyword is. So this one, of course. And we're also gonna add horns to it because. I insisted that it not just be a pair of ears. I saw all these references of the actual Dungeons and Dragons pictures mm -hmm. and they just had these tiny little elf ears. Yes. And I was like, that's ridiculous. So as well as the ears can't just be pointy, they have to be like representative of the thing. So uh, woodland elf's ears are like uh, leaf-like. Mm. And then there's another elf later on, which is like a weird organic-y shaped one, which looks so awesome. I love how it turned out. More on that in the next video or the next video afterwards, whenever we do it. But yes, and then the horns, uh, the bark. It's a tree-like texture on his face. It's not a mask, it's not an outfit that's actually supposed to be coming out of him. Everything about him is supposed to be a part of him. So if it, the bark comes off, it will hurt him because it's him. Yeah, well, he could shed it like a snake or like a tree sheds bark. bark. Yeah. I guess. I mean, does trees shed bark or is that a bad thing? I don't know. Yeah. I, I've, I've not I'm not poison it. ivy. <laughs> so that's the idea. And then of course, oh, oh, the colors. Oh, also this is inspired by me, even though you have a fluorescent character that is like you as a villain. Yeah, this is like your version of fluorescent. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. So this is uh, the color scheme I was, I went to, I did, bleh, 30 different color schemes yes. for this because I hate green and I'm like you have to do green with a plain inspired person and then There is a character that we did ages ago Which Annie from League of Legends is a fire mage So we wanted to do if it, they had villages where it was like a uh, plant mage and stuff like that Yeah, so we did that and then we inverted the colors and they were like pinks and purples and everything and the hair that he has right now is supposed to be dark green but if you invert it it becomes a beautiful purple yeah so that was the idea like we basically colored it all in green and then control eyed it on photoshop so it inverted all the colors and then we got this nice pink white purple color scheme we're like yes yes so we're like we have to do that we're like it just looks so pretty and magical and alien and the bark on there is inspired by this tree in america that is a whole bunch of like one tree but it's like thousands of branches but it makes a forest and yeah. it's like laying down or something yeah it's like a really cool looking neural system of one tree that's oh it's just awesome mm. <laughs> look it up and that's that yeah, and then the vines for the hair. I've been wanting to do vines for the hair for ages, and you even added spikes on them, which was amazing. Yeah, because the idea was to make them look like dreads and look cool and stuff like that. Because in... What's that game that I like that's an MMO? And I have a dragon, and it flies. I have no Guild idea. Wars! Guild right. Wars! They yes. have the Silvari, which is like a plant race. And there's this one hairstyle that I have that's short and it looks like vines, but it looks like Dreddy at the same time. I'm like, oh, that'd be, you're like, that'd be so awesome if it was really, really long too. So yeah. that's what we did. Yeah, because I want like long hair for dudes and characters. Because I'm like, not all of us chop our hair off. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, they're Silvari that have these like 
you know, if they cut their hair, it's actually their skin. Mm. So I'm like, some of them would actually grow their like tentacles out. Yeah, like have vines down to the ground, like trailing behind them. Like, yes, I've been growing this for like 10 years now. And I'm absorbing into the ground as I walk because I need nutrients. I, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I need at least five hours of sunlight a day and I only use the best fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> So that's <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> and then oh the lips, the lips. You can tell them about your lips idea. That's okay. Cool. So there's another character that when we're on Amino, we created this chocolate character, and they had strawberries for eyes. And I wanted to do that munchy, munchy, munchy thing. Venus flytrap. Fly yes, as the lips. Because I'm like, Poison Ivy has the poison lips, but I'm like, what would be even spookier is if there was actually a layer of teeth on the lips. Mm. So, it's not only supposed to be like there's a mouth and teeth inside, but there's teeth on the lips as well. Yeah, which is cool. I really liked it. I had a lot of fun doing it because I usually just do normal one color with a bit of sparkle maybe for lips. And also, with the Venus flytrap, it actually lets off a pheromone that lures flies into it. So, so the that closer you are to the lips, mm. the more alluring they are. Ah, so they're like a seductress kind of like thing. Yeah. That's cool, I like that. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me this before? Probably <laughs> forgot, I don't know. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Like, oh, even the wood, I've never drawn like a tree before because drawing trees. I have. <laughs> yeah, because like drawing trees to me, I'm just like, ah. Uh. It's a tree. I see trees all it's the time. It's so hard to draw them though. Like yes. When I drew mine for one of my characters that is a gazelle, a, a crocodile, and a wood, wood, just wood. a tree. tree. Just, yeah, yeah, it's a tree. I was drawing it and I'm like, oh, is there like a brush or a stamp or something to do a wood texture? I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was like. As soon as I went to go draw the horn things, I'm like, oh, how do you even like draw a tree? So it's like looking at trees and I'm like, it looks like squiggly lines. Mm. So I'm like, let's draw squiggly lines. So I drew a squiggly line and then I drew another squiggly line and then I kind of matched up the squiggly lines. And then I zoomed out and I'm like, yeah, that looks like a tree. That's a tree enough for me. I'm like, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so that's how I went about drawing that, <laughs> just drew squiggles. <laughs> I was the same way when I was doing it. I'm like, the more squiggly, the better it looks. And it's mm -hmm. like, your growth pattern is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, okay, so also the petals on the back of the head that look like a hair tie are actually inspired by Milk. lotus flower. Yes. Because there are special ones that are pink, but there are also ones that are purple, and it's like a special, like, rare mm -hmm. lotus flower mm -hmm. that it's inspired by. Okay. Yes. And also the ears, they are supposed to be glowing. The inside where it's light pink mm -hmm. is actually supposed to be like ever so slightly iridescent. Yeah, like a luminescence thing, which is also like what the Silvari do at night time. They glow and they're really pretty. I like them. Yeah. <laughs> like how awesome would it be to have like, like your house will grow with you. Ah, I know. They're so pretty. I wish like you kind of have housing, right? But not really. And I wish like you could actually customize your own house if you're a Silvari and you can mm. have like furniture and stuff like that. And, be really and if you cool. wanted to add a wing, all you have to do is just plant a tree inside. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. And I mean, houses are already wood. So realistically, all you'd have to do is not cut down trees, just lay them down sideways and they will actually grow with you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> and this whole series basically as well is just so I can work on faces because I wanted to do something different with the faces. Like I eventually want to try and do different emotions and facial expressions because I keep doing that one face thing where they're always like serious looking. Or they're smizing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm like, this is just like to play around, try and improve myself because I feel like every outfits and stuff I've got down pat, but faces I still lack in. So hopefully I improve. So guys, that is basically the video today. We're going to be bringing out a lot more elves, hopefully. So if you like it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And like and subscribe yeah. and everything. Yeah, all that stuff. And click the bell notification button so you stay updated on all the shenanigans that we do. And we'll see you guys very, very, very soon, hopefully. Bye, meow. Bye, meow.